Hey man, with the beat the beat, man, you already know stuck man in the building, man. Big shout out to PowTV.net. Let's get it. Yeah, it's PowTV.net. We got the homie Stunt Man, D4L. What's happening? What's happening? Going home. Yeah, what you what you doing out here in New York, bro? Oh man, right now we just you know what I'm saying, D G Unit, you know what I'm saying, Local Charlotte, he just did the big major deal with fifty. Shout out to G Unit, what's happening? You know what I'm saying? We just out here posted right now by right lower the um doing interviews right now. We just cooling at the hotel, just really just laying back, man. <laughs> Chilling. Alright, so so what projects you got coming up right now? I got my D I got DJ Screen coming up like next month. I'm trying to drop it around the first. I'm trying to see them drop around the first of the month or the end of the month, but it's on the way. So stay tuned to that DJ Screen, Stun or Die, Stunt Man still in effect. D4 G G unit. Alright, so like what was your first reaction when when the whole G unit situation came about? Man, you know what, man? I was like, I really I was like, I can't believe it at first. I'm like, man, cause it was so big, I'm like 50 and then I'm like slow. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, that, that that's a good that's a that's a that, that might be a, that's a good move. So low like, you know what I'm saying? He feel like that was the best thing that he should run with, so shit, it's, it, it, it's a done dollar. You know what I'm saying? It's a fish. So, so how does that affect you and, and your music, your movement? You know, like, actually, I always just push it to the limit anyway. So, you know what I'm saying? It's a good look for the d 4 slash the G-Unit because, you know what I'm saying, they got a bigger machine to, to put behind us. And you know what I'm saying? But still, just like, it's a, it's a job thing for me. So at the end of the day, I'm just push it. To the limit, regardless, man, you know, but it's a good look though, cause like it's a big machine behind it now, so it's full fled with everything we're doing. All right, so a minute ago you had the big commercial record. You still do a lot of street records. Like, what do you like? What side do you like better, the commercial or the street records? Actually, like the the commercial record was the get us in the dope. Yeah. I always been a hood nigga from the get go, so. I would like low from the Bon Home project, out from Hollywood Coke project. So it was just like we was already hood niggas from the get go. So we just screamed, we just cut the hood out like the, the, the drugs and just focus on the rap. So and it, and it popped out for us. Like the Left Tap song popped out. Like it really wasn't no song I could really just catch at first, like, but shit, man, I'm, I'm thankful now for Left Tap because, man. If one for Laffy Taffy, man, we wouldn't even be right here where we at right now, man. So, Laffy Taffy was happening. <laughs> <laughs> for real, man. All right, so let's go with the other two members of D4L. Like, where, where Fable, they at? Fable and Mook, they're still around. Everybody really just working right now. You know what I'm saying? Fable doing his solo project with Atlantic. Mook B, he's still doing his little, you know what I'm saying? Him, him, the music thing. But he, like, fading out to... So most of he got going on like he doing a promotion thing now. So, you know, say so everybody's still working though, man, staying humble, man, you know. Just trying to get it, trying to get them dollars. 